We have to force our evolution. We have to chemically restructure the primate brain so that we do not commit suicide. And the only way to do it in the time left is for the psychedelic community to stand up on its hind legs and roar and you know maybe they'll build camps for us and but the point being I think there's a moral imperative to try what works I mean you know in the 60s psychedelics were called consciousness expanding drugs a good old phenomenological description well if consciousness does not loom large in the future history of our species, then what the hell kind of future is it going to be? No future at all, I maintain. So if there is even the slightest iota of possibility that these things do what I'm saying they do, then we need to get Johnny Quick on it and check it out because uh, we may be beyond the point of no return right now. but there's light at the end of the tunnel. The problem is that tunnel is in the back of your mind and if you don't go to the back side of your mind you will never see the light at the end of the tunnel. And once you see it, then the task becomes to empower it in yourself and other people. Spread it as a reality. God did not retire to the seventh heaven. God is some kind of lost continent in the human mind. And if we will but explore the human mind, we can reclaim these relationships with our own authenticity and shed the childishness of historical existence and uh, gender politics and all the rest of it and move on to the real business of establishing a real civilization.